Today I want to make a quick video about what websites I use before I go fishing to determine what kind of weather, tide conditions, and water conditions I could expect before I head out. The first thing I like to look up is tide information, what time is high tide, what time is low tide, and what kind of tide height I can expect for the day. The first website I want you to look up is U.S. Harbors. You go into U.S. Harbors, you select your state, which I am in New Jersey. You select a closest harbor to you. I'm going to go with Sandy Hook. That's what I usually use, whether I'm fishing north or south from there. I just like to use Sandy Hook. So now I'm going to click on tide chart. Here I get a nice chart that tells me what time is high tide, low tide, sunrise, sunset, and moon visibility. So today it's highlighting yellow is Friday. I'm planning on going fishing tomorrow. And this tells me that high tide is at 8.16 a.m. with a wave height of 6 feet. And low tide is at 2 a.m. or in my case would be 2.52 p.m. with a negative 0.5 wave height. Sunrise is at 6.33 a.m. and sets at 4.46 p.m. And it's a close to a full moon, which means that it will be the highest high tide and the lowest low tide. Because during a, a new moon and a full moon, so here's a new moon and the full moon, you have the most uh, water movement. And during a half moon, you have the least. So if, there, if, it, if it's a half moon, as you can see here, you only have 4.1 and 1.2. And if it's a full moon, which was around here somewhere, you have a 6.1 and a 0.7 negative 0.7 so during full and full moon and new moon you have the highest high tides and the lowest low tides and during a half moon you have the lowest high tides and the highest low tides a little confusing but it's not too bad okay so now we know our tides and what time to go fishing i like to fish uh two hours before and two hours after high tide. So my optimum fishing time is from 6 a.m. to about 10 a.m. The second website I want to show you is going to be NOAA. And here I am going to type in NOAA Marine Forecast. I'm going to go in here. And now you have to choose a zip code near or close to where you plan on fishing for the day. So I usually just put in either Sandy Hook's zip code or somewhere in Monmouth County. So I'm going to go with 17750. That's Monmouth County Beach. That doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to go fish there. But uh, it's a nice in the middle point from Sandy Hook to further south, sometimes down to Point Pleasant Beach. In here, this tells me that Saturday right here it's going to be sunny high of 51 west wind which is great for me that means wind from blowing from behind you'll be able to cast lures pretty far and then it changes to southwest in the afternoon so now we know the tide to go fishing and the basic weather a little trick here is since this thing this cross is right over land you might want to click once or twice somewhere outside onto the ocean and you will get a marine forecast as you can see now the miles an hour the wind mile, wind speed has changed to knots and you have a, a seas um, wave height this is not very accurate this is a general average area so you might want to click a couple clicks up north and to just confirm, okay, one to two feet, and I'm going to click further south, 
and it still should say one or foot a little. Another thing I want to mention is that if there's any kind of marine forecast or warnings, they will show up here. And you will see that there is a gale warning effect until November 10 p.m. Eastern. So that means tonight and hazardous uh, weather outlook. And you'll get your small craft advisory here. So that's something to also take into consideration of how you're going to plan your day and when, you, when where and when are you going to go. So at this point, we have the tide information from U.S. harbors. We have what time to go. We know how high the seas are going to be. We know what kind of weather to expect. The third website I want to show you is Weather Underground. So once again, I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to type in Weather, whoops, weather Underground. And it's actually wonder, w, w u n d e r ground.com. And in here, I am going to put in the zip code that I've used before. I can kind of confirm that tomorrow is going to be sunny. But what's really interesting here is these two graphs on the bottom. So you have the wind speed, the forecast, and you have the direction and the barometer. These are two important things to look at. The barometer, you see here that it's rising and then it's falling. So you basically want to fish in conditions where it's high and it's falling. So here it tells me at 8 a.m. when we know our high tide flips and the wind is going to be a west wind, the pressure, the baromic pressure starts falling. This is a really good sign because usually when f when the pressure starts falling, fish start biting. And here we can also confirm that the wind is going to be from a northwest direction to west and then it's going to change to southwest. And usually when the wind changes to a southwest direction in New Jersey, the bite turns off. Now that we have collected information from these three websites, we know a lot. And the conditions for tomorrow are stacking up in my favor. The tide, the wind, the pressure, the wind speed, and the wind direction is really in my favor. The fourth website I want to show you is called Wind Alert. And the reason why I like this website so much is because it has a really kick-ass phone app. It's very easy to read. It's very easy to use on your phone. And it's a great, it's, it's just a great resource for wind uh, information. So I'm, go, I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to type in wind alert. I'm going, going to the website. I'm going to type in the same zip code that I've used. Here you get a cool little map of all these little arrows. And these arrows are wind direction and the number means wind speed. So I'm going to zoom, zoom in on the area I want to fish tomorrow. And uh, let's try Sandy Hook. I'm going to click on Sandy Hook and I'm going to hit forecast. And you get this nice little graph. And with this graph, you can quickly tell how strong the wind is going to be, which direction, and what and what the weather will be like. So, here Saturday morning, this is at 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6, 9, 12. It's military time. So I could see that at night tonight, it's going to be very windy, and then the wind's going to start dying down, and it will be the calmest at about 9 a.m. in the morning. And my high tide is somewhere around here. So I will have west wind that will be dying down. I'll have about 41 degrees, partly sunny. And just this is just another tool just to confirm everything on the other website. So these are the four websites that I use to kind of gauge what I'm going to be doing the next day fishing wise 
And with just these four websites, you could tell a lot about what to expect the next day, what lures to bring with you, what kind of setup, how to dress, and what to expect. Thanks for watching.